Hello everyone, my name is the LEGO Kid 2003 and uh, today we are playing some Genshin Impact. Um, in the last stream we pretty much finished up the uh, Archon Quest, so now we just have like the uh, the epilogue for Act 2 and then it is, then we're just going to uh, take part in both the Lost Riches events and continue with the uh, the main events of this, uh, of this update. Uh, I'm currently trying to get the, uh, the game properly loaded up for you guys, so that we can, we can play the video games. It is my dearest hope that we will actually be able to get this, this loaded up, because I don't like having to switch the theme of the stream, like, while I'm already streaming. So, hopefully Lady Deluxe smiles down upon me today, and we can get the game loaded. Alright, let's do that. So, yeah, as you can see, I'm currently on the loading screen, so. That's, that's the thing. That is... That is what we're currently dealing with. We are currently dealing with the loading, with the the loading screen. Oh, there we go. Yay! I swear, like my computer is literally like it. Tr it it just has a bunch of problems, and then the second I hit go live, my computer's like, "Oh, we have a job to do. I'm gonna actually try to load the game." Because I, I've, <laughs> the amount of technical difficulties that I, that I had trying to load this game up ahead of time, it was, it was hilarious. But yeah, as, as you guys saw, we, we got a little bit of the, oh, there we go, there we go. Now it's loading, now it's loading. Now we're getting somewhere. Grave and Innocence, that's, that's what the event is going <laughs> to Oh my goodness, I just had a brain fart. I, I had a brain fart while the game's while the game was loading. Like, shoot, what's the what's the name of the main event for, for 3.0? What is it? What is it? What is it? And then literally as the bar was loading, I'm like, Oh yeah, Grave and Innocence, that's that's what it was. So yeah, we're gonna be working on the Lost Bridges event, get as far as we can, and then uh work more on the uh, Grave and Innocence event. And if we have time uh, once all that's done, then I will continue with the uh, main world quest, which I had gotten a large chunk of it done off camera. So we're just going to be picking up where I left off on that, and we're just gonna just continue with it. Of course, I will have to uh, have desktop audio up. There we go. So that you guys can. Hear what I hear, as well as see what I see. Okay, great. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I did the not responding thing, uh, thing, and I ended up getting worried, like, please don't tell me it's gonna crash. I really don't need that. <laughs> that, is, that is the last thing I need. Okay. But, 
But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much ready. I got the game loading up here. Streamlabs is open on my right monitor. I have a, uh, a Tumblr full of Fanta on my desk so I can keep the fluids up throughout the stream so I don't end up passing out because uh, that would not be good <laughs> for me to just pass out on stream because yeah that, that <laughs> I've, I've gotten close to passing out but I've never actually like passed out passed out and I highly doubt it is a, uh, a positive experience to so just lose consciousness like that. It, it, it does not sound fun. But yeah, I, I, I have my Fanta. All nice and ready to go. So I'm, I'm ready for the stream. <laughs> kind of. I really need a reverse stretch. Whatever I can. <laughs> I actually forgot that this chair is squeaky. But yeah, I, I hope that everyone watching the stream is having a good day or afternoon or evening or whatever time. You're watching this. If <laughs> somehow you're watching this in the middle of the night, get sleep. And if for some reason you're watching this while you are at school, don't. Don't watch my streams during school. I don't want you to get in trouble because of me. Because no, you should not be. You should be paying attention to your teachers. But yeah, in the last episode, we finished up the Archon Quest, we met the Dendro Bean, known as Kusanali, and we pretty much solved all the, the, uh, all the mysteries there. Holy cow, what is going on? With, what is going on? It was like, extra scuffed tonight. Holy moly. Like, we're almost 10 minutes in, and I haven't even gotten into the game itself. What is going on? Ah! Holy moly. You know what? Nah. Patience is a virtue. It'll load. We'll be fine. We'll be able to do the, 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 the events. We will be able to play the video games. We will we we will succeed. And yes, we'll 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 be fine. Assuming that the game wants to load. Like, seriously, it's, it's, it's just taunting me at this point. Because the bar is almost full. And it's at this point where it's just mm, unable to do anything. Like, I almost want to close down the game and then reopen it, but I feel like that's just going to cause worse problems. You know what? It's it's not loading, so what I might have to do is close down the game and reopen it. So I'll I'll be back.
I just realized that I forgot to turn on the mic. I'll be back. So, problem solved. Turns out I did not have to uh, close down the game. I just needed to give it time, like I was initially planning. So yeah, the start of the Lost Riches event is right 
here, where Almen is. So I'm going to teleport nearby, uh, turn on the audio, and then we can get started with the content for the stream. Oh, good gracious. Genshin Impact streams are so scuffed. I honestly need to find a solution to this. Like, no, what is making Genshin lag so hard? Whether well, it's just like dust built up in my computer's casing or. or whatever it is, because this is honestly getting ridiculous. Like with with the amount of just hard lag. That it's uh that it's experiencing. It it honestly makes me laugh. It it makes me wanna laugh. Starting to load. Uh, never mind. I should. I should have just stopped talking. Just let it do its thing. I'm sorry for all the lag. I really am. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what's going on. Rest assured, I will. I will find out what the problem is, and and try and figure out what to do. Like, I'm thinking it's dust buildup in my computer, so I might have to have my dad check it out to see, like, whether there's immense dust buildup in the, in the computer's casing. Because I'm pretty sure dust can interfere with the fan that's inside the, the computer. And if there's like a lot, a lot of dust buildup, then that'll slow down the fan, which means that the computer won't work as, uh, as effectively. Cause, yeah, cause the, the Sumeru update's been a thing for like about a week or so now. Like, has been a thing for like about a week or so. And under normal circumstances, my computer would have already been used to it. So I don't entirely don't know what's going on. But again, I'll figure it out, and hopefully it'll, uh... Whatever's wrong with it will stop. And, uh, I'll be able to... to do the thing. I'll, I'll be able to do streams and all that. But yeah, for those who are new to my to my specific corner of the Genshin Impact internet storm thing, I am a I am primarily a Xiao main, actually multi main, and two of my mains are Xiao, of course, and Arataki Ito. And I don't typically use the normal meta teams. I try to look at a specific set of four characters and try and see what kind of synergy they have with each other and what kind of cool tactics I can make. Like, for example, with Team 1, which I nicknamed the Winds of Revolt, I have Xiao as my main DPS, Kazuha as my sub, Dendro for like off field damage, uh, Dendro Traveler for off field damage, and then Bennett is my healer. 
So with that, there's a lot of uh, strategies that revolve around uh, area of effect skills or talents. Like, for example, if I layer Kazuha's burst on Bennett's burst, I can basically create a drain field, which grants the illusion that I'm basically stealing health from the enemies that are in the area of effect and giving it to Xiao, because his burst drains health. So I need to do everything that I can to make sure that Xiao stays healthy. Because I don't want to end up dying in the middle of using my burst. Because that would just be embarrassing. lag that I'm getting, yeah, any, any lag that you guys are getting, I'm getting too, so don't worry too much about, about lag, because I know how it feels, and it's annoying. Defeat the treasure hoarders. I don't want to, but I think I, yep, there he is. There's Alvin. There's the man of the hour. And you have a little a little baby with you. Yeah, Alvin, former friend of Seely. That is who we are talking to today. Just wait for everything to catch up. There we go. Come on. There we go. Didn't you bring me here, little one? Keep moving. Never mind, you better stay put. Is this? Silly. I mean, the little one? Ugh, sort of. I'm doing fine again. Let me give you a rundown from the beginning. For starters, you may not believe Seelies are somehow easily drawn to me. Among the Seelies that came to follow me, I found one kind that is particularly keen on treasure seeking. I'm not good at naming it, I'll just call them treasure seeking Seelies. They excel at treasure seeking. Wow! I never would have guessed that! With their help, I dug up a lot of treasures and made a profit. But sometimes they suddenly tune out on me. I don't know if they're tired of the seeking or just think I'm too boring. Then I'd find find a helper favored by the Seelies. The helper takes the treasure seeking Seelies to locate the treasures, and I sell them, sell them for their fair, for a fair price. You see, ruins and antiques are everywhere in Sumeria, so I came to look for my fortune. And I attracted a bunch of Seelies here, of course. Some treasures some treasure seeking Seelies brought me here. But they ignored me again not long after I scooped up some dirt. Eh, why did it suddenly start to move? Could it be? Traveler, are you interested in treasure seeking with Seelies? Me? That won't be necessary, just follow it, dig where it stops. How does that sound? Just give it a try. If you scoop up some treasure, I'll only want the ancient iron coins if there is any. The rest is all yours. And see, so you do help me find some of those coins. I'll pay you for them at a fair price. Could give it a go. That's the spirit, I like you. Anyways, we are partners now. Take this notebook. I recorded on it some hidden treasure sites I found before, but haven't had the chance for a dig. I'm counting on you then, Traveler. Come back and bring me the ancient iron coins if you find any. Alright, so now we have the treasure so you can see. You check the treasure map with the Ullman's treasure book, follow the map, and to reach the area where the treasure is buried. Ullman will mark out one new area in this, in this book for each day for a total of six treasure areas. So we should have about two or three right now. If you equip the treasure seeking silly from your inventory, you can summon it with you can summon it when in a treasure area. However, if you are not in a treasure area, the Sealy will not answer your summons. After you equip and summon the Sealy, the, the minimap will mark the location of energy emissions. Go to these areas, help the treasure seeking Sealy collect energy to revitalize it. The Sealy will be able to find one treasure area if it collects energy three times. When you begin looking for treasure in a treasure area, the Sealy will seek the treasure out within a certain radius. You must help the Sealy collect energy and keep its energy levels up. 
helping the CLE to completely regenerate its energy within a certain amount of time will allow it to start searching for treasure. Uh, when the CLE finds the treasure, it will stay there and display the location of the treasure itself. Dig the treasure up and open the chest to obtain Bowery's rewards. So let's quickly see how... Okay, so here are the mini CLE. So you can get Prima Gems, and the mini CLE cost 200. You can, and you can only get one. Which is why I've, I was so concerned uh, last Genshin stream on which one I should get. I'm getting the Moss one. I'm I'm getting the Moss mini Sealy. So there we go. Let's go into here. Quest. Come on. There we go. Alright, so it looks like... Alright. So let's go to the map. See if it's gonna lay out any areas for me already. Uh, then again, with all of these pins and such, it's going to be kinda hard... ...to pinpoint where exactly it's gonna tell me to go. Also, because I just have not uh, done this before. So, let's equip the Sealy. Let us equip the baby. So, which? There we are. Let's quickly try to summon it. Alright. So... Oh, right, we need to go into the book first to, uh, to mark it out. My goodness, I'm dumb. <laughs> right, event details. So, yeah, we currently have two treasure areas. The next one unlocks in eight hours, one day, two day, three day. So, the first one's in... Okay. So, let's get... So... Chot Raccoon Cave. Okay, I think I know where that is. I think I know where that is. That is over. Yeah, it's around here. Is it not? Yeah, I think it's around here somewhere. Okay, great, here we go again. <laughs> here we go again. Oh, boy. I was about to say, you're gonna load the rest of the way. <laughs> Come on, please load. I, I, I don't have time for this to happen every single time I try to teleport. Okay. So, bam. Let's see if we have the correct area. I think we do? Let's, let's check the map. Do I have the right area? Seems like that's a no. Oh! Right there. Wow. I am unintelligent. I am an idiot. Wow. 
Like, where, where, where is this area? Oh yeah, just, just, just look for the name on the map. It's, it's not that hard. Just, just look for the name on the map. <laughs> this would have gone so much. Ugh, my gosh. Uh, whatever. Figured it out anyway, so we're, we're fine. We're fine. And then I'm going to check the book to see where specifically I need to go, and then I'll uh, look for the treasure. That's there. And hopefully we'll be able to, um, to grab the CLE this episode. Yep, we're in it! Let's summon the CLE. Alright. Let's get to work, little buddy. menu like we typically do let it lag oh, yeah my dad gets home I'm gonna have him quickly see if there's like any dust inside the computer or something There's like so much stuff on the computer, on the, like saved on the computer that is just not able to keep up. Oh, I always get nervous when it says that. What is this reconnecting to server? Spider-Man our way over here. Yeah, the lag is definitely worse. What is- oh, it's a mirror maybe. No, don't notice us. You can't see us. We are invisible. Oh, that combat's unavoidable. We're, we're, we're going to end up fighting. That's that's unfair. Alright. <laughs> Let's not. I don't want to. Alright, cool. Treasure area. Awesome. Where? Looks like this rendition is a little different from past times. Because it seems like in this version you are able to use it even 
even when you're in combat. It's the... Energy. And I'll honestly, like, my computer's just working against me with this. Extra. Whoa! Of course, challenge failed. I think that's all. Gosh. Wind strike. Didn't cat what? Alright, so yeah, it's definitely within the AOV that I have to kill. This is literally and we're literally set up to fail with this. We were quite literally set up to fail. Not, we're, we're not in a place to succeed in this. Adorn my night. Time to go. All right, as long as we can get this guy in Light it up. 24 seconds, we are good. Wind strider. Come on, almost, almost. So, 
hunt continues within this area. Okay, good. So we can... How many Arc ones do we have? Just out of curiosity. Because it said that we have them. But how many did we get? How, how many iron coins did we get? 30. If, if we're getting 30 per chest, this is gonna take a bit. Like, for sure. It would... Wait, do I have... How much food do I have? I don't think I have much. I don't have a lot of food. Uh, let's do what we can in terms of healing. Everybody. There. That should be good enough. And also, as you guys uh, saw, I have been saving up Prima Gems. I have been saving up Prima Gems for the Dendro Beam. I have quite a f I have a little over uh, three temples worth, so yeah, I think just in, like in terms of specifics, I have 36 pulls worth. And then counting the five that I can get from the shop, that is a little over 40 pulls worth. And a Dendroculus. And there's a Dendroculus here. Donde? Donde esta? Donde está el Dendroculus? I know I'm, like, temporarily abandoning the quest, but I want to see where the Dendroculus is. Where is it? Is it here? Does it seem like it is? Is it down here? Oh, wait, nope, I do. It's right there. Oh, you absolute tease. No! Okay, so... Let's mark this. Let's head back this way. Oh, does that mean we have to gather up the energy again? Uh, oh, yeah, whatever. Sure. Oh, there's a thing of energy over this way. Energy. Oh, that's not a good sound. What was that? Oh, come on. Alright, here we go. I 
guess we're fighting the dragon. As one with wind and cloud. Bam. This is a ruined Drake. The uh the newest in machine enemies. Useless. The most annoying part is that it is elemental absorption. So any kind of elemental attack you smack it with, it's gonna absorb. Spring forth. So you basically have to do everything you can to create variety. Just try and counteract the absorption as much as you can. So just from that, we got it a pretty good health. Ah, oh, the fact that Darren surrounds me. Oh well. Uh. Now why did you do that? Might have my double crown Seattle. I'm not even gonna use a burst. I'm so confident. It's just trying to level best to just gun me now. If it's useful, I'll take it. Whew. That was... that was rough. That was, <laughs> that was not easy. Rest of it. Have to get, oh wait, yeah, I have to continue going this way. It's like the little part of the absorption challenges. It seems like not all of them are gonna be combat based. Right here. And 
and there's another Dendroculus. <laughs> Just waiting for me. Alright, so I really dig. Do that. There's quality here. There. And then I'm going to quickly take a small <laughs> siesta from treasure seeking to get the Dendroculus that's over here. There's a good chance I'm not going to be here after a little bit. All right, yeah, I see it. Yeah, the Palace of Alcazarzare. Alcazarzare. So yeah, let's go here. Grab the Dendroculus at the top of the palace. Go into my map. Mark it specifically as a found Dendroculus. There. And then head on back. This way. Ever closer to uh, getting a Sealy or uh, a Sealy of our own. this way? Oh, nope, it's over that way. It's over there. Oh, uh, there's a sandwich room. Oh, I really don't like those things. Okay, you have to deal with them. First one was combat. This one it seems more like a time. Seems more like a time trial to me. All right over there. Is, it, is this one gonna be another combat-based one, or is it going to be collection? Is it, or is it just gonna be raw collection like the one before? It's combat. Worthless. Tear. Worthless. Uh, not these. Tear. Oh, guess we're dealing with a new type of these. 
<laughs> At least we're dealing with a new kind of specter. Useful, I'll take it. Yep, 30 iron coins. All treasures within the area have been uncovered. Awesome. So, yep. And then the next one is in a Basuda Field. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, let's quickly open up the guide though, so you can read about the new Dendro Spectres. Yep, Dendro Spectre. High elemental concentrations have resulted in the creation of this floating creature. When it takes a single grievous hit, it will build fury. When a specter hits maximum, it will expand, becoming larger and stronger, and it will explode violently when defeated. Okay, so it, no, it, nothing special about the uh, about the new one. All right, where do we need to go now? Seven Taco Mountain. Alright, where where did it say we needed to get we giggity Where where do we need where, where do we need to go? Vesuda Field. Okay. Vesuda Field. Vesuda Field. Vesuda Field. Vesuda Field. Where is Vesuda Field? Suda Field is right on here-ish. Let's let's take a look at the uh, at the picture again. So you can... Okay. Sideways fly. It's near a desert. Okay. Yeah, sideways fly near some desert. Now, where does that coincide with on the map? That coincides right... Okay, so it's like right around here-ish. Okay. Let's, let's go there then. I can see. Can can you guys wait? Hold. You guys can see the upside down floating pyramid, yeah. That's so freaky. Okay, so when I get close enough to the area, it's gonna say like, "Hey, you can summon the ceiling." So where specifically in this area are we meant to go? Okay, so basically like once we pat like once we're over this uh bit of mountain 
or whatever will be within the, uh, within the, uh, within the, uh, area where we can use the ceiling. Yep, right here. Enter treasure area. Summon the ceiling to help it absorb energy. Business hurting me. You should have no reason to hurt me. You should not be hurting me. <laughs> then again, it's fine because this Sealy is unlike its other incarnations, braver. So we are able to use it even when in combat. Let's do the decimation field this time. So, Kazuha, and then Dentro Traveler. And then I can literally just allow the game to play itself. Ow. Doesn't seem like it adds on any time, though. Disappear! That's a that's a screensaver worthy thing. Come uh, on, we're wasting more time here. Get out of my way. Yes, indeed. Get out. Get out. You shall be no more. Give me 30 again. If it's useful, I'll take it. Yep. So, yeah, we definitely won't be able to get it this episode. Next episode, probably. But definitely not this time. Definitely not this time. We're gonna, you're gonna have me come back over here.
site is right here. Alright, now we're just in normal stream lag. We do to sure just stand around. Reload. How absurd. Collection or combat? Alright, it's collection. Challenge done. And now let's get our 30 coins. Let's be a little more generous. If it's useful, I'll take it. I guess not. I I, I guess you don't want to be extra generous and give me 40 this time. Third. There's three bits of energy. So where's the oh there it is. I'm not a fellow gambler, I'm just someone minding their own business. Technically, I look. Oh gosh. <laughs> the entire stream is just so lagged. Yep, I've got dropped frames, as predicted. Yeah, it's fine. But yeah, it seems like I. Since I technically loaded the game after I started stream, it uh, it ended up glitching out. Teamwork is dreamwork. So bam. 
How are we feeling, computer? The damned will sooner die again than lay a hand on me. Alright, looks like we're just gonna be dealing with lag. Just until the end of time. That's fine. If it's useful, I'll take it. Yep, 30 again. So, yeah, we have 180 coins. Meaning that we're literally 20 off. That is such a tease. No! Oh. Literally 20 off. And we've already gotten all the treasures and Chat Rockham Cave and Vesuda Fields. The next one unlocks in seven hours. What I'll probably end up doing is uh, I'll do this bit, the third one off camera. And then uh, get the Sealy and then take care of all that. You guys are probably already tired of the lag, so I'm just going to spare you all the pain and just end stream now, and then just end and, and just end the stream now. Because yeah, this 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 stream is just so scuffed that I I just don't want to put you through another. I I don't want to put you through. Anymore. Reduced to just standing around. How Xiao, you're extremely hot, but shush. See how smooth this is? That's what I want. <sighs> Anyways. If you guys enjoyed this uh, somewhat shorter stream, and you are on the YouTube side of things, then please be sure to comment, like, subscribe, and as always, stay awesome. And if you're one of the lovely people who decided to take time out of your day, afternoon, or evening to come watch this stream live as it is happening, or you were here for the two weeks that it is on Twitch before I transfer it over, then please be sure to uh, drop a follow and maybe even a uh, sub if you haven't done so already. And if you uh, have the lovely Twitch Prime, you can uh, get a free one month subscription. Just when you go into uh, the subscription menu, you say sub with Prime, and you'll get the free one month. And as always, long live the rebellion.